What's going on guys, and welcome back to another episode of Ark the Center. Last we left off, we tamed this beautiful, really good Thyla apricot here. You had really good health. I think you had like 51 points into health or something like that. Yeah, this guy turned out to be really good. So, we might get a male at some point to breed these two up. But for right now, I do have something planned. I want to go into the swamp again to try and tame a high-level male Dinosuchus. Because we have the female right over here. Yeah, we have the female. And I want to get a male to go with the female. We'll give you one more point into, into um, melee. Alright, and also you might notice a difference in the movement. That's because I turned off... Um, motion blur. I turned motion blur off because somebody suggested that I should do that in um, episode 19. You know, the episode that blew up for whatever reason. It's got almost 2,000 views as I'm recording this video for some reason. So yeah, motion blur is turned off. Hopefully that'll improve the quality of my videos as well as um, basically as well as boosted in views. I did have to remove a couple more mods because the game kept crashing and all that. So, we're gonna take some more kibble. Let's take about... We'll take about 15 of that. 15 kibble. And then from there, we'll go on the RG and see if we can find a Dinosuchus. But first, Mufasa. Let me go ahead and Wrap some of that meat. So hopefully with motion blur turned off, I should have better viewers and whatever. Like, the uh, the game should be better. And hopefully it racks up more views. Because Ark doesn't really do that well on the channel, typically. Alright, I think we are ready to go. Mufasa, you can come with me. And then the RG, which I haven't named yet. Let's go. Let's head into the swamp. See if we can do anything. I mean, I'd also like to see if we could tame a high level, another high level Barry, if that's possible. We should have brought the Civitherium to see its stats and whatever, but we could see the stats in here as well. So yeah, we see seven points into health on that level 50 Ulfend. All right, we're looking for a Dinosuchus. I hear one. What level is it? That's a 20. Alright, where's the 20 so I can kill you? There we go. We need to make room for higher levels. Alright, there's gotta be another one somewhere. There's one right here. A level 50. Ouch. Ooh. That one almost bit into me. Alright, let's keep going. Of course, when you're looking for a certain creature, it will not appear, of course. It's always the way with these. Always the way. Huh, there's literally almost next to nothing in this swamp. No Capros, no Sarcos. I didn't do a complete dino wipe or anything like that. I've only seen like two Dinosuchus and that's it. A 90. Not quite. We can definitely do better than that. And it is a male as well, so... Let's go ahead and kill you. Make room for more. We got a couple of Parasairs. I hear another... What are you? 55. We can do better than that. There's a Diodon in the swamp. I think I hear another Dinosuchus. Oh, that's a 140 male. Okay, yep, yep. We're going for that. Definitely going for that. There's also another one here. There's a 140 female as well. Right. Let me see. Let me see what stats they have. 31 into health, and you have 37 into health. Okay, so... And you've got 
34 in a melee and 29 in a melee. The melee doesn't seem that good. Would it be better than the one we have? I don't know if I should tame both or if I should just tame the one. I need a male. I think our female had good stats. It was a 145. Okay, we need to isolate the two. Uh, we need to take out the 140 female without killing the 140 male. There's another one here. Another 140 male? What's with all these 140s? 31 health and 24 melee. Well, I know I'm definitely killing this one. There were just three 140s in the same area. I'm not gonna get all three. All right, you're the 140 female, so I'm gonna take you out. Wow, three 140s in one area. That's just crazy. All right, so what we need to do is wait for him to calm down. Switch over to the Pyromain. I know it's not the most ideal, but it's whatever. All right, there's that 140 attacking a Dimorphodon. Oh no, wait, that's a different one. That's a 90. Go ahead and... Okay, that's the 140. I thought I saw a 90 Dinosuchus. I think that's it, like, swimming around. Yeah, that's it right there. We want this guy. Oh, we just got a Fiomia here. Let's kill you because you might attack it. A 130 Hinotis. These waters are very deep. Let me get rid of this 50. Let's get out of here before that Barry spins us off. Alright, there he is. There's our guy. He's just attacking whatever's in the back. And then there's just a random Parasair standing on the cliff. Alright, that could be the perfect opportunity... But I don't know how deep this... This water's very deep, though. If we could get that... Dinosuchus's attention... And get him to come over here... That might be nice. Yeah, taming in the swamp... Not ideal. Not ideal at all. I don't know where that 85 berry went. I don't really want to take any chances with it. As long as we kind of stay in shallow water, we should be good. There's a point where the water gets deep. That's the only problem. All right, branches and trees get out the way. All right, I think that's our guy. Yeah, that's our guy. All right. All right, we're kind of in shallow water. I think the water's too deep. He's doing a gigabyte. Don't let that fool you. Yep, yeah, we may have to kill that cap, bro. It's a 140. Hmm. It's a beautiful color, too. Alright, if we can kill it before it pounces on us. Here we go, we got it, we got it. Awesome. Alright, the, the Dinosuchus, I think, has made its way over. It's made its way back over here. Not ideal. Because it's in very deep water. Which we don't want. Let's see if we can make it back to that island. Overshot it, but that's okay. At least we're in shallow water. Alright, snake. Don't be. Don't be like that. Yeah, I know there's a turtle down here as well. I notice. I didn't know these guys spawned in the swamps. Hello, there's, that was the 130 RG from before. That was a mistake. That was a mistake. And of course you're being attacked by Dimorphodons. Wonderful. You do look like you have really good health. We may have to get rid of these Dimorphodons. But I don't want to kill the Dinosuchus, that's the thing. It just keeps attacking everything. And I don't know where that Baryonyx went. 
Now we need to find a way to kill those Demorphodons. It just keeps attacking the Demorphodons. That's usually what happens with these big creatures. They end up attacking Demorphodons. They can't hit them, so as a result, they die. Yeah, this guy's dying to the Demorphodons. He's got five Demorphodons on him. They're too... We're on a piss off. I... I said piss off, Piranha. Get in front of me. Oh, Jesus. That was close. Alright, run. Run. Alright, there's still one Demorphodon on him. He should have healed a little bit, killing that Demorphodon. But at least we got him in shallow water. This could work out. And of course, he's attacking another Demorphodon. At least it's just one and not five this time. Alright, this Dinosuchus seems to know what it's doing. We'll wait for it to finish playing Ring Around the Rosy with the Demorphodon, and then we'll go from there. Oh, come on, Demorphodon, please die. Demorphodons are always such a pain. Especially when they get attacked by something you want to tame. I do see a 130 RG in the distance. Alright, Parasair, you're gonna have to die. Sorry, buddy. Alright, I think the Demorphodon has died. Though, he is swimming in the water. Yeah, he just attacked something. Can you piranhas ever be alone for once, rather than just have friends with you all the time? Oh my god, piranhas, go away! I'm trying to watch and see what this Dinosuchus is doing. Let's go for it, let's go for it. Alright, one more kibble. And you should be safe. Oh, god damn it! Great. Deep water. Not ideal for us. I think we can go again. This is gonna be risky. Boom! We did it. That's how you play Ark right there. Sometimes I think I'm a god at this game. I am just a god at this game sometimes. Alright, let's, let's go ahead and land on this rock. Get our heat back up. Get back on higher ground, and then we'll fly back home. Alright, let's go ahead and uh, get the RG. And let's get out of here. Finally. Alright, so we got our male Dinosuchus. Which we should get an imprinted version once we breed them up. Let's go ahead and save that. Alright, so we'll head back. And, um... We'll compare stats, and then we'll see if we can breed them up, get the perfect one. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. And we are back at base. Look at it. So beautiful, isn't it? Alright, so let's uh, land here. We'll take our female Dinosuchus, and then we'll compare the stats. Thinking about just putting the Diplos away. Whatever. Alright, so this is our female Dinosuchus. We bred you up. I think you were a 145 when we tamed you. All right, let's compare stats. All right, so this was the female that we initially tamed. Initially, it had 44 points into health, 40 points into stamina, 36 points into food. It doesn't have oxygen because, you know, it can breathe underwater. 56 points into weight, 40 points into melee. So if we compare that to the, the male, we've got... 51 points into health. Okay, that's really good. 33 into stamina, 43 into food, 35 into weight, and 46 into melee. Okay, so the male's better. The male is actually better than the female we got. It probably would have been worth getting the 145 female, but... Or the 140 female, but you know what? I'm happy with what we got. There we go. Alright, we got the eggs. 
I want to see if we can get some more Rex and Vectospinus. In the meantime, so we'll wait for these guys to hatch up. All right, let's hatch up these Vectospinus eggs. We've got 23. We still need a 211. Let's see. 211. Still nothing. That sucks. That really does suck. Still no mutations. Let's kill all of them. We've got 29. Almost 30. Should we make this an even 30? Why not? Go ahead. We'll make it an even 30. Well, let's hatch up the Dinosuchus anyway. Let's see what we got. Alright, I think you did lose both of your stats. So I'm going to go ahead and kill you. You lost both the health and the melee. We're about to have a bunch of Rex eggs. Alright, Rex. Actually, let's start with the Vectas. Let's see if we can get, like... Let's see, 211. No mutations, so let's just kill them. And then Rex. We haven't really gotten lucky with mutations. Alright, let's see what we got. 244. No mutations. Really? 246? Yeah, no no mutations on any of them. How am I supposed to get out of here? I might have to make a door just so I can get out of here. That's what I'll do. We'll just put this here. And I'll just make myself a door. I can always make the door later. Just so I can get out, you know? And then how am I supposed to get in? That's the question. Alright. We'll worry about that later. Alright, we'll just... I guess we'll just wait and see what the Dinosuchuses cook up. And we'll see if we can get one with the perfect stats. And then we'll take an imprinted one out for a spin. So in the meantime, let's uh, get the resources needed for a door and a ramp. Alright, so at least we can get in and out. We'll have another way of getting in and out. We should probably do one for the other side as well. Let's see what we got for eggs. I guess we'll hatch some more eggs. An overraptor must be placed in the terminal for egg pickup? You mean to tell me I could just put the overraptor in the... We'll have to try that. We'll have to, we'll have to test that out. The eggs are automatically being picked up. I don't even need the overraptors in there anymore. I just had to basically, you know, I'll just eat these. All right, we need, I think, the 46 points into melee and the 51 health. All right, I think that's a perfect one. So this will be our main guy from now on, the 223. All right, let's hatch up these four Vectospinus just for craps and giggles. No 211s, I think. And then Rex. Any 244s? Okay, we got one. It's a weight mutation. Hmm. And we got a female that's an oxygen. We don't need that. Let's, uh, get rid of those. Alright, that kind of sucks. If I'm gonna be honest. Alright. Let's test our imprinted... Dinosuchus out. Maybe I'll get some mutations, but we would need a whole section dedicated to the Dinosuchus. Alright, let's take our new and improved fully imprinted Dinosuchus out for a spin. Alright, you're fully grown. Let's go. Fully imprinted. Let's see what you're all about. So the left click we do... 874. That was a max level Dillo. 874, I think that was. And we're, we're imprinted. Yeah, 874. Alright, let's see what our gigabyte does. 6,700 already. That's pretty impressive. We got a raptor running around. Kill that seagull. Kill the seagulls. That 
was a 130 Raptor we just killed. Oh, hello! A 130 male Lania. Hmm. Maybe that's what we'll go after next episode. It's like right at the base. I didn't know these guys spawned at the coast. Okay. Alright, that's good to know. That'll be for next episode. But this episode is Dinosuchus. Imprinted Dinosuchus. So we got an imprinted Dinosuchus. You know what? I might use this guy for breeding. If we can get some females just like it, I'll build a whole area dedicated to this, and uh, we'll go from there. Alright. So that's male Dinosuchus. Or that's um, imprinted Dinosuchus. I'll leave you here for now. Just until I know what to do with you. Until we get a bunch of females that have the perfect stats. And then maybe we'll hatch up a few more eggs. Maybe we'll get a mutation. Maybe we won't. We'll have to see. Alright. Vecta Spinus. No, we'll just hatch the, the four that are there. And then Rex. Alright, so we want 211. No. Two we got a we got a double mutation, it looks like. We got a health and a melee mutation, but it is a female. Ah, uh, that sucks. If only you were a male, that would have been perfect. If you were a male, that would have been perfect, but I'm sorry. All right, let's see. What do we got for Rexes? 244? Okay, we got a couple males. We got a double health mutation, and what are you? We got two health mutations. Okay, all right, that's that's awesome. That's awesome. I think you guys are twins. Yeah, I think you guys are twins. So we got a double melee, or sorry, double health mutation. Let's go. We'll keep both of you. The rest... That... That was a double mutated Vectospinus. If only that was a male. If that was a male, that would have been perfect. Alright, Dinosuchus. Let's hatch some up. Just for... Alright, so hold on. What level is the one we have? Let's see. Uh, 223. Alright, we managed to get a Rex with double health mutations. Let me just hatch these up. Let's see. 211. Nope. 213. Nope. 244. Nope. It doesn't look like it. Alright, whatever. Kill all those. Alright, so we got... Looks like we won't be needing H1 anymore, because now we've got H2. We got a double health mutation. So we can go ahead and put you away. <gasps> we killed the Overraptors. Crap! Crap, I didn't even think of that. Oh my god, I killed the Overraptors by accident. You know, we won't even... We won't even put you in the terminal. I didn't even think of that. I didn't even think of that. That was a mistake on my end. Alright, this is the one we'll breed with. Behavior, enable mating, and we'll call you... H2. So we know you have two health mutations. Alright! I think we've, uh... Had a good day today. We tamed up a male Dinosuchus and basically got a perfect stats. But with that, that's going to have to wrap it up for this episode. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more. It would really help out a ton. But until next time, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.